Let's mess up some text here in Photoshop. So here inside my layers panel, I have a regular text layer just here. Now don't be right mouse clicking on the thumbnail for the layer itself. Be right mouse clicking on a non thumbnail part of the layer and choose convert to shape. Now visually nothing has changed out here, but we have indeed converted our text layer into a shape. This shape is defined by a series of vector paths and we can easily manipulate those vector paths using the various vector tools here inside of Photoshop. So if I come down to this tool just here, the direct selection tool. Now this tool allows me to go after these individual points on the paths. So if for example, I were to click on a single anchor point just here, I can grab that and move it to wherever I like. I'll undo that. I can also click, drag and release over a bunch of points to select them simultaneously. Again, grab them and move them wherever I like. And if I wish to restrict the movement to say a vertical or a horizontal movement, while I'm making that move, just hold down the shift key. Now I'm going to select these two points just down here. And instead of using the mouse now, I'm going to use the keyboard. So if I just click and hold down my down arrow, you can see those points are slowly moving. So if I want to speed this process up, just include the shift key. So I'm now holding down the shift key and just tapping the up and down arrow keys. And you can see I can quickly move those points around like so. Let me make a couple of quick other changes. I'll select these two points here, holding my shift key down, move those up. And maybe let's do the same just here. Okay, so that's all looking well and good. What if we want to change the color here? Well, very easy. This is a shape layer inside of Photoshop. So if I just double click on the thumbnail, it will open up the color picker just here. I can change it to any crazy color I like. But what if I want to start going after individual letters? Let's say I'd like to recolor just the E here. Well, I basically first need to select the points that make up the letter E. Now I could just drag over them like so. Now they're not getting selected. What's going on just here? Well, this is an important thing to know with Photoshop guys and selecting stuff. Notice that my layer, my vector layer, my shape layer just here is not selected. And just up here, the select option is set to active layers, which is why nothing is getting selected. Two options at this point, you could either come over here and select the layer, or by clicking a blank part of the layer to deselect. The other option is set the select option to all layers. And now note, even if this layer is not selected, if I drag over the E, it does select all of those points just there. Now again, guys, that was using the direct selection tool, but there is also the path selection tool just here, which I would like you to be aware of. This is great because it will select paths in their entirety. So if I now click just once on the H, it grabs the whole thing. The same with the E or the O. Now I'm going to select the E, and because I would like this to be a different color, I would like to jump the E to its own layer. So having selected it, I'm going to go up to Layer, New, Shape Layer via Cut. Now visually, nothing has changed here, but check out our Layers panel. We now have the H, L, L, and O on their own separate layer. And we now have the E up here on its own layer. To change the color, we just double click on the thumbnail and I can dial in a different color like so. And there we go. Now it's not pretty, but hopefully this gives you some good ideas on how you can convert your text into vector shapes and then manipulate them from there. Catch you later.